Hello. Today I'm going to talk about a rather aggressive strategy using Jackrabbit that actually is very stable, but it does require a decent sized budget. The minimum recommended budget for this using the 3BCT program is $231. That is the $11 original position and then $220 for 20 safety orders as a minimum. Right now we're looking at Bitcoin and as you can see the chart is pretty stable. I'm going to load Jackrabbit. And yes, this tablet is very slow. It's a Galaxy Tab Note 10.1, but it gets the job done. So here's Jackrabbit. Okay. And now it's loading. And going through all the 80 layers of calculations. Okay. At its most defensive state, we already see it has a couple of cell signals, but no buy signals. For most people, you probably don't want to go beyond this point because this is telling you that the market is in a selling state and it doesn't see anything that is safe enough to buy. We're not going to stay sane today. We're going to go to the dark side of Jackrabbit, the crazy side. So for that, for a PC, when you hover over, you get all the options. For a tablet you need to click on the word. Now we're going to go to the settings. Here are our default settings. We're going to go completely crazy. We're going to use the high, low, to, or basically the average between the highest and lowest point of the candlestick. Now, do not do this at home, kitties. This is only for the crazies. That's right, we're going all the way down to the lightest analysis possible. The only thing that I am not going to be turning down is the red green analysis and a condition zero analysis. Everything else is going to go all the way to the bottom. There we are. Now we apply this. And we are going to see the world change. Click in the middle. And you see Jackrabbit grinding away, recalculating everything based upon its new parameters. Still calculating.
still calculating. Don't you just love these older machines? Certain amount of nostalgia there. And now look at this mess. That's right. These are all the buy and sell signals that Jackrabbit now sees. We're going to get rid of all these sell signals. Because for this to work, all we care about are the buy signals. So go back into settings, go back into style, and now we're going to turn off all of the selling markers. Every last selling marker gets turned off. Now that we have only buy signals, we begin to see just how the strategy is going to start unfolding. Each signal is going to represent one dollar cost average or one safety order as 3CBT calls them. The goal of this process is through saturation. As you continually buy through these orders and combine it to the base order, you average down the price. With enough saturation, profit becomes inevitable. And this is why it is considered one of these safest ways to profit from a market. It does require a considerable amount of budget though. As you can see, by looking at these small peaks, you see exactly how this will work out and exactly what to look for on the basis of your price action. Let's see if we can get this zoomed in here and get a close up. Now the lower your trailing take profit arms at, the faster you are going to sell out of an asset, so the less it is actually going to require to get a reasonable profit. Okay, let's see. Zooming in here, we can see by looking at the charts on the right hand side. For example, this would be a profit, these would combine, and this would be a profit, these would be a profit, so forth. So you can see that there's a large number of opportunities that this represents. That is the driving force behind this entire strategy. The more you buy, the more you average the more likely you are going to have a rapid profit. Now let's take a look at the actual setup for this through the three commas bots. And then we will be able to actually see how this works. For the standard point of this bot, it only buys as the price drops below a certain factor. In this case, the standard I'd set is 0.3% deviation. So when the asset is 0.3% underwater, it does a safety order. Okay, here we go with the bot. Now first you'll notice I have all these coins selected. I'm never going to use these coins, but I don't want to constantly edit my bot. So I selected them all and then I control it from trading view. Now I'm only doing 
one coin at a time and I'm only using eleven dollars per position and I'm only using eleven dollars per safety orders that's important because that's the secret of this entire process your safety order must equal your base order in order to move this quickly I want market orders to be placed speed is everything here so you have to have a market order this will not work on any platform that does not support market orders. You have to have that speed to get in and out as quickly as possible. Of course, I'm using Jackrabbit to drive this entire process. Now, for my take profits here, I start at 0.3%. And my deviation is 0.03% or my retracement. I don't use a stop loss because the idea behind this principle is you keep averaging down until you profit. I've actually set up 37 safety orders for this particular process just so I can make sure it works out well even though I've never seen anything more than 15 I wanted the extra process for my testing so for me this is going to require roughly a $420 budget although I've allowed $433 for little extras now this is the odd part 0.3% deviation or 0.3% below zero. You can choose a higher value but you want to be able to get in and build as quickly as possible. Standard slippage for three commas is 0.2 percent. That's the factor that they say between trading you and them you could miss that much. So by 0.3 percent deviation I'm getting a little bit of an extra padding to the process. Now we go in and we max out our simultaneous deals. We want to be able to get as much as 100 DCAs on a particular asset. Now the actual impact or effect of that. This bot has been running roughly two days. And in those two days, using this kind of an aggressive strategy, okay, it's loading slowly. Okay, I have a deal open right now, but for two days worth of work, I've profited $3.12, only doing one deal at a time. Today alone, I made $1.28. Now, with that being said, if you take my total, and you multiply it, figure two days, multiply it by 15, I'm going to make roughly $60 this month just off of one coin at a time with 24 signals from TradingView. So when one deal finishes, the next signal opens up and it's back to back. And it operates at a very rapid rate, which I'll show you here through the actual deals. These are actual deals that are completed. Of course, it's got to load up.
Oh, this is okay. This is loaded. Great. So you see again, I've done 161 total trades. Now that's more than just the last two days. I repurposed this spot for this particular strategy. But we're at 312, and you begin to see the deals. This one I canceled out and got rid of it because it just didn't do well. But as you can see, it's doing very good. The profits here are quite good. And the holding times, two minute holding times, five hours, one hour, six minutes. By looking at these holding times, I could actually get an idea of which coins are likely to be the best ones to invest in. That way I can minimize my time holding. By minimizing my time holding, that will allow me to maximize my number of trades within a 24 hour period. So at this point, I'm basically collecting information about each of the coins to get some ideas. But this is basically the whole process. It moves quickly. You can tell how many safety orders it took to turn a profit. And as you can see, some of them are very low or none at all. This is actually my highest one, which is why I canceled it. But for the most part, you can see this works out very good. Now, this also brings up a point that if your budget is $231 at 20 safety orders, you're not using anywhere as near that amount. So most of that money is just sitting in reserve. That's fine. Don't overload your bot. Trying to overload your bot will not work well at all. Tune it to the coins over time, but for the most part, this is really the best approach to an aggressive strategy in a non-aggressive way. While I don't like to use the word guarantee because nothing in the market is guaranteed, Using a consistent averaging approach has the high potential to give a very good return on a very consistent long-term basis. And it's easy to scale. Scaling it scales the profits. You can begin to calculate how easy it would be to make a particular break-even point using this very simple process. Be sure to pay attention though to the coins. So I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to go through and show you what coins work well. The most important thing you have to focus on is the frequency. Not all coins produce high frequency and that is a problem to this kind of a strategy. It only works with high frequency and only high frequency. Remember, each of these markers is a safety order or an initial buy depending upon where it simply falls. You need these to drive the entire process. If you don't have a lot of buying opportunities, you're not going to get a good return on the, an overall average. Safety orders or dollar cost averaging only takes place when you have an actual buy signal. Your bot is not going to arbitrarily buy something just because it meets the minus 0.3% criteria. It doesn't happen. It's only going to buy when it has a buy signal. Where's my watch list? Okay, let's see if we can get the watch list to load. Then we can go through and cycle these coins. And I 
show you Okay, maybe it'll load this time. If not, then this will be an edit. This actually turned out to be a complete reload of my web browser. Anyways, now that we're completely reloaded, let's look at Ada. And there might be life in here. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we see Ada. We see a lot of opportunities. This is what we want. We want lots and lots of opportunities for buying. Because every time it climbs, all of these climbs have sales. So this is exactly a good driving force. Okay, let's go to the next coin. Okay. Okay, I'll go. In my opinion, this is not a good coin. There are just not enough buy signals to sustain the rate that I want. That is very important when you're looking for what assets can be used with this particular type of strategy. You need those buy signals. Everybody's favorite, Adam. And well, everybody's not so favorite, Chrome. Okay, back to Adam. Now, even as popular as Adam is, I don't see enough buy signals to want to use it. Even though down here there's a lot more, up here is concerning. There's just not a lot of traffic for me to want to use that. But let's go to Bitcoin Cash. Okay. As it finishes loading, yes, this is what we want to see. We want to see those signals. This is what kind of stuff you want to drive this type of strategy. So when you see your coins, look for this. If you use this kind of a strategy. So, be sure you, of course... Take care of your time frame. And speaking of which, you'll notice I'm using the one minute charts, not the five minute charts like I normally do. That's important because you want to drive the entire engine as much as possible.
as fast as you can. So be sure to pay attention to your time frame as well. You can use a higher time frame, but if you're looking for saturation, saturation comes at the lower time frames, albeit more risk. So with that being said, watch this video a few times, figure out your budget, make sure your risk assessment can handle this kind of situation. Because it is high risk. But if you can handle the saturation effect, meaning you have at least $231 and you want to try this kind of a process, just be sure to pick the right coins. Theoretically speaking, short of a market apocalypse, this will always profit once it reaches its saturation point. That is the big gamble about this process, is you don't know when that saturation point is going to come. But by carefully looking at your candlesticks and looking for things like this, you can see that it doesn't take much to make a good saturation for it to get in and out of the market quickly. Until next time.